guess she's right, though. It's bedtime. Poor Marie. Good night, darling. Good night, Henny. Psst. Henny, did you hear that? Psst. Takaronga mai. Listen. Psst. There it is again. Wapiti? Kira, friends. Wake up and come outside. What? What's going on? I have a surprise for you. <sighs> Hide away. Come, come. Huh? Follow you where, Wapiti? It's night time. I know, but I'm going to show you things you've never seen before. Ooh, very mysterious and exciting. I have to take notes. Hey, who's that in my garden? To a tete, it's just us. Huh? Titiro, look, a hedgehog. <gasps> He's been foraging in Darwin's compost heap for scraps. I hope you don't mind, Darwin. Foraging is kind of Tuatete's thing. Well, that's okay. He's just getting some food. I've never met a hedgehog before. Hi, Tuatete. You've probably never met one because hedgehogs are nocturnal. What's nocturnal? It means they sleep during the day and... They're busy during the night, like me. You're nocturnal, Wapiti? Yes. Deer like me are nocturnal. But I take lots of extra sleeps so I can hang with you during the day. Cool. Kind of like what Newt's is doing now. We'd better keep going. Coming to a tete? Look at this place. The forest is very different at night. It sounds different too. Listen. mai. Who knew there were so many animals and insects awake in the dark? Know that sound? It's Ruru! She's an owl. Oh, so cute. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? She spun her head almost all the way around. That's Ruru's special talent. She needs to be able to do that because she can't move her eyes. Ruru's also far sighted which means she can see things far away, but she's not very good at seeing things close up. <laughs> Just like me. You should get some glasses, Ruru. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, looks like someone else just woke up. It's a bat. Huh? A bat? Upside down. That's the way Pekka Pekka sleeps. But it's time for him to get up. Come on, Pekka Pekka. We don't want to be late. Nice to squeak you too, Pekka Pekka. Oh, those aren't just squeaks, Newts. It's how Pekka Pekka sees in the dark. How does that work? He follows the echoes of his squeaks to know what's around him. It's called... Echo location. Whoa! Now that is very interesting. Shh! What are we waiting for? We have one more friend joining us, but she is very shy. Oh! Hello, Kiwi! <gasps> It's true. 
Kiwi is a very rare bird indeed. Hi, am I? Come here, Kiwi. Don't be shy. Look at her lovely hairy feathers and her tiny wings. She can't fly, can she? No, but she has lots of other talents. Kiwi is the only bird in the world with a nose at the end of the beak. She has an excellent sense of smell and she also has whiskers like a cat that guide her in the dark. Hmm. Pika Pika has echolocation to see in the dark and Kiwi has whiskers. Right, Darwin. Nocturnal animals have lots of different ways of getting around in the dark. Speaking of which, ready to go, Kiwi? Then hop on. Whoa! Oh, oh, it's really dark now. Careful, please, Darwin. I can't see. The light is too bright. Newt's is right. Here. Red light is best for seeing at night. You're right, Wapiti. Interesting. Okay, we're here. Uh, here? Oh, what's here? There's nothing but a big rock wall. You see. What's everybody doing? I'm not sure. Ugh, no thanks to a Diddy. They all just seem to be looking straight at the rock wall. Wait for it. Whoops, I forgot. Everyone, please turn off your headlamps and stay really still. <gasps> How beautiful! What is it? It's glowworms! Putting on their nightly display. Wow! I passed this rock wall lots of times, but I've never seen it like this before. Let's science this. Okay, tonight we meet Tuatiti, the hedgehog, Ruru, the moorpork owl, Pika Pika, the bat, and Kiwi. They were all awake and busy at night because they are nocturnal, just like Wapiti. Just like me. So, that wall we walk past all the time looks very different at night because the glowworms are nocturnal. And that's why we never see them. Because we're always asleep at night. Thank you, Wapiti. Bertie? What are you doing here? I get it. You're nocturnal. So that's why you're always lying around during the day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think I can help you out with that. going on, Newts? You'll see. And now, the main attraction of this nocturnal evening... Burpy Croquette and the Creatures of the Night! Hit it, guys! Now that's what I call entertainment. Half five. Good job, Newts. <laughs>